In this question, we need to figure out the magnitude of acceleration just before the car reaches point C. The first thing we need to do is figure out the time it took for the car to go from point A to point C. To get there, we will have to go through a few integrations. So first, let's start off by using what we know. We know the initial velocity of the car, which is 25 meters per second. We also know acceleration, or rather deceleration. So we can take the integral to figure out the velocity. Acceleration is equal to dv over dt, so dv is equal to a dt. The initial conditions are 25 meters per second and a time of 0 seconds. Let's solve the integral which gives us our velocity equation. Now using this, we can find an equation for position. Velocity is ds over dt. Changing it up a bit gives us ds is equal to v dt. We know the equation for velocity, the initial position is 0 meters, and the initial time is 0 seconds. So let's write another integral and solve it to get a position equation. Now we are almost there to figure out the time. So to use the equation we just found, we need a distance value. In other words, we need the distance from point A to point C. We know from points A to B it's 200 meters, but what about from point B to C? Imagine a circle. We are given the radius of the circle. The angle is 30 degrees, which means we need 12 pieces to complete the circle. The circumference is 2 pi r, and we need 1 twelfth of a piece. So we have 2 pi multiplied by 250 meters divided by 12. Let's plug this value into our equation to find a time value. You can graph it or plug it into your calculator to figure out the t values. We get a value of 15.94 seconds. Now we can find the accelerations. First, the tangential acceleration. We just need to plug in the time value. Now for the normal acceleration. First, let's find the velocity using the velocity equation we found earlier. Now we can use the normal acceleration equation. The magnitude can be found using this equation. Solving gives us our answer. Thank you for watching, and if this helped, please give a thumbs up.